Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to discuss and implement ChatGPT um, framework, specifically the image generation endpoint to generate images, to allow ChatGPT to generate images for us. Okay. Uh, obviously, ChatGPT is an open source chatbot framework built on top of the OpenAI's GPT-3 language model. Okay, and we are going to use it. Uh, to generate images for us we're going to allow it to generate images for us okay and um, I've got here a typical MVC web application here the typical controllers and views and models okay and I have a typical form here a form on, on on the index page let's quickly run it and see how the form looks like and we will use this form to gen gather information that the user wants to generate an image for so we have here prompt, we have total number of images required, and we have image size. So this is a description, literally a description of what you want the image to be generated for. So here, let's assume that we want an image for uh, weather in the United States of America. So we type it here, okay? And we also specify the number of images that we want. So you chat gpt allows us to generate up to 10 images okay so in this case let's say we want just four images just of um, weather in the united states of america and also we have to specify the image sizes we have three possible options okay 256 by 256 512 by 512 and 1024 by 1024 let's say we want 256 by 256 so when we click some so what we will do is we will send this question uh, description to chat GPT for it to generate the images for us and once it generates the images for us what we will do is we will just display the images along with these URLs here so this is the URL that you will get back from uh, the chat GPT and this is, we are just literally creating a HTML element image element here and then displaying it how it looks like okay we can obviously use it again to um, send another description here so let's say we want um, a description we want an image of tsunami we type the tsunami here and then we describe the number of images we want and the size this time let's go for 512 we submit 512 to just chat gpt <coughs> and we wait for the response it's generating it and it will give us the urls and this is the urls of all the images that it was able to generate so this is an image of tsunami we, we asked for five of them, I believe, yeah, oh no, nine, and these are the nine images that is able to generate for us. So it's very, really simple and straightforward. Now, let's dive into the code and see how this works. As I said earlier, it's just a typical MVC application that we have here. So we have a home controller, and <clears throat> what we've done is we added another um, a, a method or endpoint that will receive the form and the form obviously contains the three fields the prompt which is a, your description total images and size okay now we have created here a typical um, service which is called a chat gpt service and we pass that information to that service let's have a look at how that service works okay now this is what we need this is all that you need to send a message or a prompt to chat GPT so we have our um, data here and what we do is we create a HTTP client and then we define a HTTP request message pointing the endpoint to image generation endpoint and obviously we use post as a method and then we create our authorization header using API our API key as a bearer so this is my typical API key obviously if you don't have a, a an API key you can sign up and get your API key here okay so you create a bearer token and then you serialize uh, the image data the request the description of what you want now let's have a look at when this is serialized let's have a look at how it serializes it okay this is an this is a class that we created uh, the prompt is required is a description of the uh, the desired image and then the number of images you can have up to one to, up to 10 and uh, 
that the name of the property is now serialized to end and then we have the image sizes so as I said earlier these are the possible options that we have so you serialize the content or the request data into string and then you create a string content making sure that the media type is JSON application JSON okay and then you send a request if the response is successful you then uh, read it as a string and then you deserialize it into an image response let's have a look at the image response typically this is what you get back from chat GPT and it just gives you the created the data that it created the images and then this is where it stores the images data now if you look at the image data it just contain it's just an array of image data okay and each one has a URL URL of where the images are that you need to down download okay and so that's it really and then you return this so what we are doing what I'm doing here is once I get a response from chat GPT I just create a view of it I pass it to the view and my view typically looks like this it's just basic um, HTML I just look through the images or the data and then display the URL and then create image elements for the URL so that's what you saw earlier so let's run it again and um, go through it again so this time I need to change it so I, I will I will say MacBook I want an image of Apple MacBook and how many do I want assuming let's say five and then we want uh, 1024 by 1024 images click on submit and let's now inspect it okay this is my description from the form okay and now I'm passing it to this method here which is execute image prompt so um, yeah go through this one by one and then we serialize it let's have a look at the serialized um, data so no here sorry there you go the serialized data it give a it, it, this this is literally what we are going to send to chat GPT PT. the prompt which is a description of the image the size or the number of images and the size that we want each one okay and then we send that to chat GPT and then it will return us um, response so let's wait for it okay if everything is successful which it is here we then get a uh, we serialize it into a string the response and then this is what we get let's have a quick look at the response coming from chat GPT so we have five images or five data each one has a URL in it okay they're all the same URL so um, what we do is we then deserialize it into our own object that we have here and then we display that um, we display as an images on our front end okay so these are the images of Apple MacBook that um, chat GPT was able to generate for us there you go five of them okay it's very simple can I can imagine what you can do with this um, image generation from this chatbot okay incredible incredible um, endpoint incredible saves that they've provided for us and you notice that these are blob data and blob solid from Windows Windows Azure as that's where it's stored it from so you just have to use it okay it's incredible what you can do with this uh, service okay um, that's it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thank you